Hello my friends, hello people, welcome to my YouTube channel again. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a double exposure effect in Photoshop, just like what you see here, right? With easy and simple steps. Before we move further, if you don't subscribe to my channel, and you're here for the first time, click on the subscribe button and turn on post notification. Without having to waste much time, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is click on new like this, and um, I'm going to make um some couple of changes so i'm going to use a 1920 but first i'm going to impute the name here so it's going to be exposure effect and um, i'm using pixels this time right no inches 1920 by 1080 and i'm just going to click ok like this right so this is quite different from what we were doing um previously so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to select solid color i'm going to make the background white like this right so um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this image here right um, and I'm going to bring this down like this um, just make this smaller just slightly like this and um, click enter like this right great okay now that you have that done the next thing you want to do is um, okay so I, I want to make the image pop so I'll just go over to Camera Raw like this and um, let it open up so um, okay yes so we are inside of Camera Raw so um, you can just copy my settings for this. So the first thing I like to do is I will just um, reduce my highlights like this and increase my shadows. And um, if you've been following my videos, uh, my previous videos, you will know that I like um, doing this process to make sure my pictures. But I'm going to create a separate video for how I make my pictures pop in photoshop how i correct my pictures to make it stand out for my compositions and every other designs i have to create afterwards right so i'm just going to have my da's at plus seven and um, when i'm done i'm going to go over to details under details i'm just going to add some sharpening effect to it like this and um, when i'm done i'm going to click ok so this is what you have. So you can see um, that you have um, changes uh, as to what it was and how it is currently. So I'm going over to my resource file. I'm going to bring in this first image here like this. Drag and drop basically. Um, we're inclined to the ministry of drag and drop. So I just drag and drop like this. And um, yeah. And I decide to make this smaller just like this. And I'm going to put it here like this. Now you need to be attentive Sally at this point here now so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to change the blend mode to screen right this is the first step you need to do so I'm going to position this somewhere around here um, yes and um, I'm just going to make this slightly bigger while I move this here like this so it's just a picture of um, two lovers on the beach and um, yeah I'm just going to increase the size like this right when i'm done i'm just going to click ok right so a couple of things i want to do i'm going to mask this out like this create a mask and i'm just going to go over to my brush and um what i'm going to do is simple right so i'm just going to turn my flow i'm just going to manually type 50 percent and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to manually remove these areas working on the image above i'm just going to conceal these areas make sure your foreground color is set to black right i'm going to conceal these areas like this and um, conceal these areas like this and um, a little bit along this line like this and um, just be careful with this i'm using the soft round opacity brush right so um Having done that, I'm going to 
create a clear mask so it's just affecting just the image itself it's not the general image i'm going to go on and conceal this part here like this and um, that's all i'm going to do for this Control j to make a duplicate copy of this and i'm going to clip it alongside but i'm going to change uh, the blend mode for this to hard lights so when i change this to hard lights what i'm going to do next is i want to reduce the opacity like this so i have something like this right reduce the opacity so it's not too obvious it's just like that double click on this thumbnail and i'm going to select this color here like this right this is the color i'm using so um let me okay good so that's the color code in case you want to use it um so this is the color code so i'm just going to change this one to white right and um, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to add some um, special effects. So creating a new layer, I'm just going to select this brush, right? So um, this brush is also included in the resource file. So you can get the resource file in the description of this video. So I'm just going to use this and I'm just going to double once. My flow is set to 50, but you can make it as 100. So you just do once because I have to do this twice, right? So I'm going to reduce the brush size. Um, this brush is very, very sensitive. So let me just make it 100 then. So I'm just going to double once, paint once, and uh, move to other regions. And I'm just going to double again. And I'm doing it again. So it's more like a cloud brush, just like what the name actually is. Do you understand? So. Um, basically i'm just going to do that three times on those regions create a new layer above the whole image and um, with my brush still selected i'm just going to move along these areas like this and i'm just going to add some cloud effect to this region so i'm making my brush smaller while i'm adding this so i'm just what i'm just doing is just i'm just brushing i'm just painting on top of it like this and yes that's all i need at that point right great okay so I'm just gonna drag this image and just uh, drag and put here be mindful of where I'm putting this image in my layers panel right if you followed my videos uh, you follow my videos you know how I'm, I'm very very cautious about how I arrange my layers and how things are inside of my layers right so with this one I'm just going to change the blend mode to vivid lights I might change this if it doesn't work so I'm just going to reduce the opacity like this and keep it at 67 right um, right now these beds are too much so I'm just going to um, remove some of them. So how do I do that? I'm going to change the brush back to um, The general brush and I'm going to use the hard brush this time. I'm using the soft brush So make sure your foreground color is set to black and um, reduce the size of your brush like this So I'm just going to get rid of um, those extra beds. I do not need So I'm getting rid of this getting rid of this Getting rid of this getting rid of this and um getting rid of this yeah i think basically that's all i need to get rid of all right great so um let me see um okay i think i would use color bond for this right most times you just need to play with your um blending mode to see what works for you just like what i've just done now right so it's not um it's not too hard it's not that deep just make sure you just play with your color mode right great um the next thing i want to do is i'm going to go over to my color balance and i'm going to tilt towards the reds because i have so much of red and yellow going on in this composition go over to your highlights and i'm just going to add some reds to it just like this right so um the next thing I want to do is um, I want to make this image pop just more, right? Because the level at which it is currently. Um, but before then, 
I'll create a new layer like this and I'm going to select this color right with my brush selected I'm going to change it to the soft round brush right not the hard brush right good and I'm going to make my brush size bigger and I'm going to just double once and change the blend mode to screen so I'm going to move this to the area where it's needed somewhere around here I'm going to make duplicate copies make a copy of this and place it here like this just some light effect to spice the whole process up and i'm going to make a last copy of this but i'm going to drag this make this smaller first and i'm going to drag this all the way to this point here like this okay so i'm just going to reduce the size increase the size i meant like this so i have two um three lighting effects layer three layer three copy and layer three copy two right so those are the ones I have. So select the image, go to filter, go to camera raw. I need to make it pop more. So um, a few couple of things I need to add to this image. So I'm going to start by um, clicking on basics. And I'm just going to go all the way down to where I have my blacks. I'm going to add blacks to it, right? So um, that's all I'm going to be doing. Click OK. So you can see the difference, right? so um a little things like this actually matter so guys this is how i created my double exposure effects if you've not subscribed to my channel please do so by clicking on the subscribe button and turn on the notification i will see you in the next video just up here like this love you guys